How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Candace Owens versus Mark Lamont Hill on her PragerU show. If you want to see that full show, I'll link to it in the description box below. It'll be available on my website. But today, I got to focus on one particular piece of their hour, hour and a half plus conversation, and that is about men being able to have babies. Apparently, Mark Lamont Hill thinks that men can sometimes have babies. Now, I was always taught as a kid that that's not possible, that only women had babies, but I'll hold that for now. Let's get into the clip. In this clip, you'll see the context in which that crazy statement was made. After we get done with that, I'll talk about what was said in that clip. I'll give you my two cents, my deep detail analysis, and then I'll wrap it on up with a nice bow on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Can men give birth? Sometimes. That's my answer. Yes. And the answer that is that is crazy. And this is we we cannot. It's just, <laughs> it's just crazy. We cannot allow this to happen. But you there, wouldn't say the definition of being a woman is the ability to give birth. And I'm not saying is only women can give birth is a factually true statement. Only women can give birth. There, there's only one type of human being. Only that people can with give uteruses birth. and vaginas. Yes, and can, stuff give, can birth. give birth. Only women can birth. You I'm not men dis- I'm not cannot disagreeing give with that. birth. I'm not. And that, here's what I think we're talking past each other. What I'm saying is, I'm not disputing the fact that certain body parts yield certain kinds of possibilities, right? What I'm disagreeing with is the idea that that is the measure of whether or not you're a man or a woman in, in, in society. Okay, but it is now come to a point where if you say that only women can give birth, you are called a bigot. That is crazy. That's nuts. So if you say, like J.K. Rowling did when she got canceled by the Harry Potter cast, that only women can menstruate, okay? Can men get their period? Can you, can, can you help my audience? Can men get their period? Some can. Okay. Yeah, trans men. Some, there are some trans men who can. Um... All right, so you saw that, you heard that now. Mark Lamont Hill, what are you thinking, sir? Uh, before I get into that, I just want to say who Mark Lamont Hill is. You all know who Candace Owens is, obviously, but Mark Lamont Hill is actually a professor right now, or at least he was. I know he was in academia, I think he is right now, at a school somewhere in the Philadelphia area. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. But he is academia, okay? He is the face of academia for this particular conversation. And Candace was asking him a very simple question, like, can men have babies? It's like, well, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> it's like, no, that's not how it goes. See, Mark Lamont Hill and a lot of guys like him on the left, they want to be just political ideologues, so much so that they just totally ignore science. It's weird how the left will accuse the right of ignoring science when we say, hey, maybe global warming is not this big thing that's changing the whole planet. Maybe the sea level won't rise a foot in a year. If we say something like that, then we're heretics, we're bigots, we're racist for quote unquote denying climate change, being a climate change denier for not giving tithes to Trisha Al Gore and to the patron saint of climate change, the new one, Greta Thunberg, if we don't just praise them at their altar, then we're somehow bigots and we're racist. But if at the same time we say that only women can give birth to a child, then we're the same thing. It doesn't make any sense. One thing is actual provable science, okay? There is, there is no way for a male to have a baby, period. You can call, like, if you want to call yourself whatever, that's fine. If Mark Lamont Hill wants to call himself Markeisha rather than Mark and put on some high heels, a dress, a big blonde wig with a Chinese bang right in the front over his forehead, then that's fine if he wants to do that. But it doesn't change him into a woman, okay? He's still a man, all right? He could do whatever he wants to himself, but it won't change. He cannot have a baby. He cannot menstruate. He cannot do anything. They're talking about putting tampons in the men's restroom. Why? For what reason? Why would a trans... The terms are confusing, so pardon me. If if you're getting triggered, I'm sorry, it's not my fault. Blame the white man. But anyway, why would a trans man go into the men's restroom? Are you going to grow a penis? Is that what's going to happen? I'm just trying to figure that out. I'm not really understanding how this whole thing really works. Um, Really what's going on, like Candace said in the video, um... A lot of these people that call themselves transgender really have a mental disorder. It's called gender dysphoria. Okay, that's an actual real thing in the military, especially. That's why they stopped having trans military members, because guys, girls, whatever they want to call themselves, were getting free sex changes 
because it said, oh, I have gender dysphoria and the way for you to cure it is to get a sex change free from the U.S. military. Well, not really free. It costs the taxpayer so many, but the person that's getting the surgery does not pay for it. It's paid for by you, the taxpayer, not by them. But anyway, I move on. That is an actual mental illness. Now, Mark Lamont Hill was talking about, well, back in the day, they would say that if you are gay or bisexual, that was also a mental illness. And that might be so. That might still be true. However, I'm not having to change my reality because of someone being gay. If they're gay, they can just be gay. That's their business. If you got a consenting adult and y'all just be gay together, that's fine. Who cares? Okay, that's not my lifestyle. I'm not into it. I don't advocate for that. I wouldn't teach kids that, obviously. But if you want to do that as an adult, how am I going to stop you? Go ahead and knock yourself out. However, when you're talking about transgender, now being a whole different category because if I, quote unquote, misgender you, they're talking about possibly locking me up in certain parts of the world. Not really sure about here in the States because, I mean, you do start freedom of speech, don't you? Maybe to a certain extent, a little bit. I'm not really sure. But anyway... You're talking about getting in trouble, getting you some kind of like criminal penalty for quote unquote misgendering somebody. But how am I going to know that the city councilman from Minnesota, a.k.a. Girl from Mortal Kombat, a.k.a. Papa Shango from WWF in 1989, how am I going to know that that person is identifying as a woman? How would I know that? I'm not really going to play into your game. Does she her? You're a man. Does she her? If you want to call yourself like uh, Bruce Gender, I mean Jenner, if he wants to call himself Caitlyn, okay, that's your new name. That's fine. There are some names that are kind of like, um, what, what do they call it? Like gender neutral, like Jamie. That could be a male or a female. Okay, that's fine. Whatever your name is, whatever you want to change it to, that's cool. If I can't pronounce it, then, hey, don't, don't blame me. That's not my fault. But that's your name. That's fine. But to go to the whole pronoun thing of she, her, them, they, and then they got all the crazy new pronouns making up words, right? Zer, Zim, Zer. It's like, what? Where does this come from? <laughs> what are we even talking about? We're making up whole words here. Okay. And like Candace was saying, and like I always say as well, words do matter. Words mean something. This is why they're trying to change the word racism in Merriam Webster, talking about a young girl kept emailing the staffer. Like, they probably been wanting to do that because people want to use the word racism inappropriately. They want to say, oh, well, racism doesn't apply to black people we can't be racist because we don't have power and white people do so the white guy that i saw outside today digging in the garbage he has power and you don't living in a very nice house with your picket fence your dog your tesla all that good stuff right but you go down the street it's a white guy on the ground talking about can you spare me five dollars i can give something to eat and a beer whatever whatever he has power and you don't so if he calls you a racist term is racist because he has power Although he's like halfway naked on the ground in the middle of the wintertime, but you don't have power in your <laughs> autopilot Tesla and going back to your mansion. Like, I don't really understand how that makes any sense. Words do actually matter. The word man makes a difference. Woman makes a difference. He, she, they, them, she, uh, all of that makes a difference. Okay. It means something. And don't try to tell me that I got to change it because you feel like, it doesn't mean anything. And what she said in the video as well about, well, look, if there's no such thing as gender, if it's a social construct, then nothing matters, right? It don't really, you know, so it don't really matter about structural racism or discrimination if ain't no such thing as race. If, if nothing matters, then why does it matter right now? Mark Lamont Hill, I think, is a smart guy, but is indoctrinated with this leftist kind of ideology. You understand what I'm saying? He can think about things in the correct way, but his mind is so far into academia that it's just not really computing for him. And it's really a shame because um, you need more people that have a brain out there to have big platforms. He has a pretty big platform as far as I know. I know who he is. I've been knowing who he is for a long time. People like Candace, I salute because she has a big brain is using it very well on her platform. I, you know, I commend anybody that is a critical thinker and is not blinded by political ideology, whether on the left or on the right. But the problem nowadays, as I close, is that most of the political blindness and the, you know, the adherence to ideology, regardless of what the facts are, come from the left rather than the right. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you think that 
Mark Lamont Hill was correct when he said that men can sometimes have babies. If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. I know I didn't get on the entire video in this video. So what did you see from the full tape between them that you agree with, disagree with? Uh, there was a lot of things there. They were talking about racism and college admission, all kind of stuff. How do you feel about the whole thing? Aside from just what I spoke on right here today, which was the whole LGBTQ, ABCDFG situation. Do you think we need to have more liberal versus conservative debate, conversation, things like that to be displayed on national TV, on the YouTubes, on big platforms for everybody to see? Because I feel like the way it is right now, you have one side saying what they want to say in their own little bubble and the other doing the same thing. I do my live calling show. I try to have everybody call in from all walks of life. But Candace was saying at the very beginning of this particular video that she reaches out to people that talk to her online really well on the left and they don't want to do the show. They want to stay in Twitter land and have that be the way that they come better rather than being face to face. So I give Mark Lamont Hill a lot of credit for showing up. OK, a lot of the left don't want to actually do something like that. People talk about me when I went to Jubilee and did that video. Oh, why do they always have the professional pundits like me to go on there versus just random every day on the left? Well, the problem is that the left get invited, but they don't want to come out. They don't really want to see me in that kind of space in that kind of environment, nor Candace or anybody else. So I give Mark Lamont Hill a lot of credit for that. Although he's out of his mind, if he thinks that a man can have a baby, but whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.